Und is a Six Flags park located in Montreal, Canada. This is in Quebec, so French Canada, and it's the only Six Flags park in the country. This isn't a great park because it's run very poorly, but their coaster lineup is pretty solid. They got a couple of really good coasters and some good supporting coasters. So in this video, I'm going to rank them all from my least favorite to my favorite. They have eight um, in their collection, and we're going to get a ninth, hopefully in 2022, with the pair the relocated into Zach spin from Six Flags Magic Mountain. But I'm not going to include that on the list. I have written it as Green Lantern, but I'm just going to stick with the currently operating coasters of the park. So let's get into it with number eight. Coming in at number eight, we have Marche du Mille Pâté. I'm not French, so I'm going to butcher some of these pronunciations. This is an aerodynamics mini mine train. So very old Katie coaster. Not much to this ride, though. It's the kids' coaster, so not a ton to say. Um, yeah, definitely the weakest roller coaster in the park. Number seven is Ednor Latak. This is the park's Vacoma SLC, and these are usually pretty bad rides, and this one is one of the worst SLCs out there. These have pretty good layouts, but when it's just constant headbanging for the entire ride, it's not enjoyable at all. This is just a roller coaster you walk off in pain. Not fun, and definitely the worst big roller coaster in the park. Number six is Toboggan Nordique. This is the park's Wild Mouse coaster. This is a Zamperla Wild Mouse, and I hate Zamperla mice. Um, they're just not fun. They're really slow. You don't really, like, do anything. And with the lines, this thing will pull because of its low capacity and the poor operations at this park. I 100% recommend skipping this roller coaster. Entering the top five, we have Dragon. This is an indoor family coaster that was built by Intamin, and honestly, I don't really remember too much about this ride. It's just kind of a mishmash of turns in the dark. I'd say the closest thing I compared to is Skull Mountain at Six Flags Great Adventure, but this doesn't have the crazy airtime moment. It's in the back, so it's just kind of an alright family coaster, but again, low capacity and this park operations are really poor so i would also recommend skipping this roller coaster number four is Le monstra this is the park's william cobb wooden roller coaster and it's absolutely massive this is the largest wooden roller coaster in the country of canada so it should be a pretty great ride it's got two tracks it never races and it's not, um, this is not a very good one roller coaster at all. My main complaint with it is the layout is just boring. You're mostly doing these wide, slow turns and shallow drops. There isn't really any airtime to be had on this ride, um, but it's all right. I wouldn't wait in a very long line for it, but I do recommend it. It's unique. There aren't really too many wooden roller coasters like this. If we're talking coasters that need to be RMC'd ASAP, though, this is one of them. Um, this park desperately needs a true, incredible standout roller coaster, and La Monstra would be a great candidate for an RMC. So I think that should happen. It probably won't happen. Six Flags likes to neglect this park, and there's a labor dispute um, in Canada with RMCs, so I doubt that'll happen. But for now, this is a unique, albeit kind of boring wooden roller coaster, but I still think you should ride it just because it is different. Now we're into the coasters that I actually enjoy and would recommend riding. Uh, number three is Boomerang. If you're a coaster enthusiast, you'll ride lots of Vacoma Boomerangs. That's what comes with it. So it's easy to lose appreciation for these roller coasters for that reason. And some of them can be a little rough, but fortunately, the one at Laurent is not. I always enjoy these whenever I go to ride them, as long as they're smooth. 
they're very, very forceful. I like going up the, the lift backwards. The drops are fun. And they're just compact, intense roller coasters. Only complaint is they're kind of short, and that comes with shuttle coasters. And I think if these weren't clones, people would appreciate them a lot more. I'd recommend riding Boomerang if you're at the park. It's one of the better roller coasters here, and I do enjoy them. Now we're into the top two, and these are really the reasons you want to come out to this park. They're both fantastic roller coasters, and there's a pretty strong argument to be made for either of them as the best ride in the park. But I have Vampire at number two. This is the park's Batman the Ride clone, and Batman clones are another roller coaster that isn't super appreciated in the world of roller coasters because they're very widely cloned. If you've been to a Six Flags park, you've probably ridden one of these. There's a reason these things are cloned, though. They're compact. The crowd pleasers, and they're really intense. These are some of the most forceful roller coasters you'll ever ride, and out of all the Batman clones I've done, I think Vampire is the most forceful one. You just whip through all the inversions at breakneck speed. You don't get a chance to catch your breath on this ride. I love the whip on that zero G roll, the crushing positive G's in the helix at the back end of the ride, and the forceful corkscrews. This is a must-do when you're at the park. I absolutely love it, and I think it is a very close second-best ride at La Ronde. Number one is Goliath. This is a B&M hypercoaster, but it doesn't quite reach that hypercoaster mark. It's not 200 feet tall. It is 174 feet tall, I think. And this is a really fun ride. If you enjoy floater airtime, you'll love this roller coaster because that's what it provides. Just floater airtime hill after floater airtime hill. Now, this is one of B&M's older hyper coasters, and I tend to prefer their newer ones. I think they've improved on them over time. So this isn't one of my favorite coasters ever or anything, but it's great. It's one of my favorite roller coasters in Canada. Um, something that kind of sets this apart from some of the other B&M hypers is there's actually a really good pop of ejector air on this thing when you're going into the brake run, which I like. It's glass smooth, super rewritable. Um, unfortunately, it'll always have a really long line. This is without a doubt the star attraction of this park, and this is the roller coaster everybody goes to. So that can be kind of a downside, but it'll be worth the wait probably. I really like it, and I think it is easily the best roller coaster at La Ronde. Now, if comparing this to other B&M Hypers, I would definitely put this towards the bottom. And if you're comparing it to Behemoth at Canada's Wonderland, which is the closest one, it's a nine day comparison. Behemoth is infinitely better. But Goliath is still a great ride that I highly recommend riding at 